guys show all night and, and the ability to back. Uh, the ability to kind of hang in there uh, through the runs and yeah. grind this one out. Yeah, um, we knew this time of year is going to be a 48 minute basketball game. Both teams were going to want the game extremely bad, um, and it came down to habits and and making plays, and we we ended up on the, the good end of it tonight. It seemed like you got on the floor after the halftime act was off the court for maybe like one second to get some shots up. Were you really uh, interested in just kind of building up some rhythm before that third quarter started? Um. Yeah, I I usually try to get out there as fast as I can. Um, I didn't think too much of it. Um, I know the game's full of ups and downs, makes and misses. Um, just try to beat myself throughout me. And you you didn't force anything with all their double teams. What do you think of the way we talked about this before the game? That you guys were able to kind of play out of those traps. Yeah, we were good. Um, we had we had prepared for it. Um, I think you guys could tell we were, we were ready um, to play out out of the double teams and, and try to make them pay every time. He just talked about how you guys remain poised throughout the whole game and not going away from what worked for you guys all season? Yeah, uh, I think we, we know who we are. Um, and we won some big basketball games this year. And we know what's won us those games. And we try to stay to that identity um, throughout the, the crowd and the environment, whatever's going on. How much of that comes from Mark? I mean, he's a pretty even kill guy. Mm-hmm. Are you taking your examples from him? Or is it just you guys know what you're supposed to do? Yeah, that's the head of our snake, our head coach. Um, like you said, he's an even kill guy. Doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. Um, he breaks it down to us, but we try to focus on every night. It makes it easy on us to focus on those things. Um, and I think that's why we're so level-headed. Speaking of Marty, Marky gave you guys a lot of credit for how you executed down the stretch, just with it being such a close game. What, what did it feel like out there? What do you think the way you guys were able to kind of stay even keeled and execute? Yeah, um, we, we've we been in a lot of situations, um, especially this year, where we, we wanted to win games and it hasn't gone our way. Um, we've been in somewhere we, we wanted to win and it has gone our way. Um, I think learning those lessons throughout the season allowed us to, to do so tonight. Um, and nothing's promised. We, we, we just try to control what we can control, and I think we've learned that throughout the season. Shay, um, you knew going in how they were going to play you. Um, how hard is it to, you know, they're trying to force the ball out of your hands, but you're trying to make the right play versus like trying to be over aggressive maybe yeah. and force too much. Yeah, um, it's easy. Um, the the best players, um, I think, in the NBA and who have ever played in the NBA are willing to do whatever it takes to win games. Um, and all that other stuff doesn't matter, especially this time of year. Um, and that's what it was about for me, making my basketball play and trusting my teammates. And as you can see, my teammates came through tonight. Going back to the boys, how much do you think you, know, you being in big game situations and they kind of played off of both of your boys and kind of followed your needs? Yeah, um, I try to lead by example for sure. Um, like you said, I have played in some some playoff series before. I've got a little bit more experience than the rest of the guys on the team. Um, and I just wanted to come in here um, and show them that you know, no matter what, it's still basketball at the end of the day. And you still got to do certain things to win the game throughout. Um, and I, they picked up on it really good. Tonight. Is there something about Lou in these do or die games? You had the game seven in the bubble a couple of years ago, and then yeah. uh, tonight making shots early and clutch defense play. What do you think of this game? Lou wants to win. Um, and I think even if his shots weren't falling tonight, he had some huge defensive plays, as we know. Um, yeah, but Lou's a big-time player, um, and we've done that for a little bit now. And then what do you think of Josh's game? Is, right. You know, he had the ball in his hands, up, hands a lot. And, uh, tied his career high with 31 points. Yeah, he was amazing tonight. Um, he was the best version of himself. He was aggressive. He made plays, made the right plays. Um, and he was confident. When Josh is those things, he's a really good basketball player. Yeah, it seemed like you're, um, I think, I believe, you're seven points in the first half of the season, low for first half. How did you process that? Did it bother you at all? Did it, did it motivate you, or you know, how did you resolve it? Yeah, I didn't think too much of it. Um, honestly, like, knowing how they were going to guard me defensively, I was, wasn't expecting a huge, especially to start the game, I wasn't expecting a huge outburst offensively scoring-wise. Um, I wanted to kind of set the table and make sure my teammates were ready to go confident um, and attacking. 
Um, and then I knew once I did that, the defense would have to worry about them as well, and my offensive game would open up, um, and it planned out to me. Be looking forward to seeing Nikhil and going against him in a couple minutes. Absolutely. It's always fun playing that guy. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, Shane.